Big third down, Marmette. Oh, man. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I, I, I'm in love with this this mix. Ron, Ron I, I added a little bit more of the here we go to it. I, I just added, I, I'm sorry, I'm remixing it. And I, I just I just love it. There you go. Um. We are about to get ready to get uh, watching the games for Saturday, games that have playoff implications. And there's my beautiful bride. Huh? With Ron Oliver's Here We Go mix. The, the beats are, oh my God, the beats are. Yeah, he sent me a new mix, a new outro. It's It's got Here We Go, but I've remixed it. I've remixed it. Um, but that's not why you're here. You're here because of the headline here. Um, I, um, we found out uh, Big Play Slay is ha has just had knee surgery and is probably going to miss the next four games. And this is not good if you're the Eagles. Um, the fact that you're already hurting. I love you too, baby. You, my, you know you're my number one. You know, you know, hey, you know, you not number one, baby. Okay, Ron, he don't mean nothing, <laughs> huh? Thank for what? No, I'm not live. I'm actually recording. Nobody, nobody told me, baby. I am recording. The live stream doesn't start till one. Anyway, big play slay basically threw his teammates under the bus. And then proceeded to have a surgery so he won't have to deal with the ramifications for the next couple of weeks. Now, his coach said that he'll be back um, for playoffs maybe sooner. Here's where it gets to be interesting, was, and I did not see this last night. Big play Slay's calling the popo. He is definitely, definitely not happy right now. Let, let's listen to this real quick. Oh, my goodness. Let me... Make sure I got the right one here. Is this the right one? Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Here we go. Let's, let's listen to him. Pressure of the game is getting way more intense than it's ever have been. Man, fans, y'all got to stop. I'm talking about getting threats all in the DMs and all kind of crazy stuff going on. So, man, y'all be just talking that shit. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm calling the law on you. I'm calling the police and I'm sending them to your house and you're going to jail for harassment. Big play ain't trash. <laughs> a five-time Pro Bowler, all pro, 28 interceptions, probably over like 140 D PBUs. <laughs> These guys came out with way more energy. And I'm gonna tell you, from my eyes, from the field, them guys look like they was having fun. But at times, you know, wow. as you just look at the game, it just feel like a lot, of, a lot of guys feel sometimes defeated. Yeah. So he threw his teammates under the bus and basically said, we look defeated. We looked like, you know, we were out class, out coat. I mean, he literally put everything on everybody but himself and then goes out and has surgery. So I equate this as you're on the battlefield here and you just dropped a grenade into the middle of the, 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 the foxhole while you were leaving to go to the medics. You dropped a bomb on your teammates and literally, literally walked away. And I'm going to tell you, bro, I'm going to tell you, here's the thing. That whole threat of calling the police on them, I hate to tell you, man, people on uh, social media, they get bold because they're behind a keyboard. They're behind a keyboard and they're anonymous. They won't say this kind of stuff to your face, but what you just did was you emboldened them to let them know that you can get be gotten up underneath your skin. That you can that they can literally trick your emotions. And that's the worst thing you can do because that means they're gonna keep going even more. Trust me. I know from personal experience and I'm a nobody, but big play slay Philadelphia Eagles, maybe Philly 500 is right, man. For once, um, he's worried, he's scared. And as we sit here and get ready to go for, uh, the game Monday night, 
Now you've got a secondary that hasn't been playing well, that just got smoked two weeks in a row, and one of your biggest stars, the big play Slay, is out for the next four weeks. It's not good in Eagle Land right now, and Philly 500 is going crazy. Um, I was listening to, uh, I know it rots your brain, but there's something about um, listening to the idiots out there. That when they say stupid stuff, it's always fun to go back and have them do the walk of shame. But James Jones, let me see if I can find it real quick here. James Jones is living his best life right now on that show because they beat him like a redheaded stepchild, you know, most of the season and told him he's an idiot and he's been the one standing up for the Cowboys. And... You I'm always, just going to take always, a little page always, out of my dog Shady book, look, man. Yeah, oh. He's not part of the That was crazy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> wow. that's a crazy request. Okay, that's that's like, like, like having to take saying, your girl saying, out. Yeah, let's see. That's like having to take your girl out tonight. What's wrong with you? Yeah, bro? you know, I'm going to take a little page out of my dog. Can I borrow your car and take on a date? You like, hey, can I use your wallet? Can I get your Apex to take out a date? What? This dude getting wild. I love it. You want your Louis Vuitton? You want your toothbrush next? Yo, my man. I know. I can't stand on him. Y'all going to help me out. I'm paying. I'm paying now. Look at they just clown and shady. Oh, right oh man, so she let that watch you I just, wanted, that watch. I just wanted to be my dog for. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, mm. you know, but my dog say a lot of things on this show. Um, number one, he say, "If it quack like a duck, <laughs> talk like, like a duck, a duck. <laughs> walk like a duck, it's a duck." That's the Philadelphia Eagles. Number two, they done got. <laughs> Did you say that too? Did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you say that? Smack up the last couple weeks. I mean, these games ain't even been close. You talk about a must win. Come on, man. What we talk? <laughs> this is all she <laughs> What we talking about, oh, man? Come on, man. This is a must win. We all know it is hard to win in Seattle. True. It is hard to win in Seattle. You ain't going to be able to hear. See, the Seattle Seahawks got a lot of good players on that roster, too. I don't know if Geno coming back, but if Geno coming back, is going to be even tougher mm -hmm. on the road. But you said it best, Acho, for 13, 14, 15 weeks, all we've been hearing out of Philadelphia is we ain't played our best football. And the yeah. last two weeks, you have not played your best football, and you nope. have gotten blown out of the state. Blown out. One at the link. And one on the road, so nothing has changed. And then you listen to Coach Nick Sirianni talk. They ain't changing nothing. So for me, I don't even have the confidence that you guys are going to go into Seattle knowing that you guys Ooh. are going to be the same team. We're going to line up and play. That's what we've been doing. A.J. been winning. Devontae been winning. We ain't going to mm. help our quarterback out with none of these bunch formations. We just got to go out there and make the plays. You got to help your team out. And it's letting me know that they ain't about to make no changes. Wow. I don't see them going into Seattle winning this game. I think they are going to lose. I do. And I'm with that. that Monday circle. night, I am picking the Seattle got Seahawks to win this game. Wow. It's amazing how two weeks have literally changed the landscape. I'm Mark Holmes, and well. Make third down.